Hi guys, it's only me. Um, I'm going to do my 19 weeks pregnancy vlog today. I'm really sorry about the lighting. It's really it's raining and foggy and rubbish outside today. So um, oh, I just can't seem to get the lighting right and it just looks really grainy. So I do apologise. My face looks really orange compared to my face. Quirky. So um, yeah, apologies for that. So I'm going to get right into it and just go through some of the symptoms I've been having. I've had to write it down because obviously brain fog is the um, number one problemo. So, um, out of breath. I've found that lately I've become more and more out of breath. Just like walking, the, I don't walk with the kids to school because they live, uh, they live, they, um, their school's quite fast. So we drive um, to one school and then walk through to the other school. And that that's like a three minute walk. And I just find that I'm so out of breath just walking down there. It's really... I, mean, I know it's normal and, and um, I can remember having it with the other it's just like it's really weird like you know that that can happen um been really um emotional for the last few days I did have some bad news like from a family member at the beginning of the week and I don't think I realized how much that affected me and literally if I could have done I think I would have just stayed in bed for two days um yeah, I, I just felt so low and miserable and like literally if someone would have said something to me or even if my husband had said something to me, like I literally ignored him, for two, I mean he knows what I'm like, I literally ignored him for two days because I thought that I was just going to burst out crying if I spoke to him. But um, yeah, so I found that really difficult because lit I, I would literally go on the school run and just want to cry. <laughs> so, um, but I, I had a fabulous day today, so I'm feeling a lot better today. And as I say, it did only last a couple of days, but um, yeah, that was really that was really horrible. Um, I mentioned last time about I didn't know if it was my hip, my back, or my bum a pain. Um, it's definitely sort of my hip pelvis area. It's definitely got worse. Um, I have looked online and things, and we well, I've spoken to my doctor, and we both have sort of come to agree with it. it's probably SPD. Um, uh, yes, yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just a nightmare. So anyway, I don't know what it's like for what everyone else has to do, but um, where we are, we have to refer ourselves. So my midwife phoned me today to let me know that's what I had to do. So I phoned them up and I've left them a message. And um, you have to leave a message in the voicemail. And they, they, they kindly say in the voicemail that um, during busy times, it may take seven days to get back to you. And that's even if they see you they might just give you advice over the phone um but i really hope they can do something because this, this is just agony like I'm, i take ages to get up out of a chair you know like when you swing your legs over in bed you, i can't do that i have to keep my legs close together when i'm lying in bed otherwise the pain's horrendous even if it keeps me awake at night when i'm driving i have to try and squeeze my legs together um because i looked online i've been looking at loads of things like you know ways to improve it or get less pain so I always keep my feet on the floor um, like when I'm sitting on the sofa and things um, keep both feet on the floor when you get up not try and get up on one leg sit down on the bed when you're getting dressed those sort of things and um, I think the most important thing is wearing flat shoes because like I have been wearing flat shoes like today it's been rubbish and my boots haven't got a huge heel because I'm really I'm a five for eight so I don't like to wear um ooh, high heels or anything so it's literally that much of a heel and that, that is amazing how much difference that can actually make uh, hopefully i'll be able to wear my flats later but we'll see um also last time i mentioned that because my placenta was at the front i haven't really hurt really heard really felt baby move and, and it is amazing how much in the last couple of days that's actually changed like i have felt her loads um at, even at night time like I've, I've woken up and you know I can feel her moving so that is just I don't know that just blows me away just think you know she's in there and she's all happy and I can finally feel her moving so that has definitely made my day um I love it I could just lay there and just you know feel her move all day the next step is obviously getting Dean to be able to to feel her on the outside um yeah I just can't wait for that so that'll be fantastic what else have we got um 
still food aversions. Oh, do you know what? Before that, feeling sick. I have been feeling so sick for the last four or five days. It is really, like, not physically so I think, oh, I'm going to be sick. Just that horrible behind the, the scene feeling of feeling, 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 constantly sick. It's horrible. Um, it, I've woken up feeling sick of the night and it keeps me awake. You know, I'm, I do the school run and I feel sick. I have something to eat and I feel sick. I've not eaten and I feel sick. And um, I was sort of hoping, to, you know, to think that I might have grown out of that, grown out of it, grown out of it by now a bit. But there we are. We'll see. But um, it's manageable. Just, just really irritating feeling sick all the time. And the yep, food aversions. I still can't um, face garlic. Um, like the meatball sauce of garlic in, like the tomato meatball sauce. I can't eat that because I don't know the tomato meatball sauce and also the garlic bread. Um, that's a bit of a no-no as well. Just it just stays in my mouth. The taste just stays in my mouth for so long. It's absolutely rancid. Um, but apart from that, I haven't really had any food cravings. I've got my water when watermelon craving again. Um, so I got one of them from from Asda yesterday. So I can't wait to sit and eat eat that but I do notice like I literally went through like a month of having a quarter of a melon every um, evening before I went to bed and I'd just be up all night peeing and it's amazing the difference like a quarter of a watermelon can make like literally two or three pea stops but um it's worth it because I'm definitely going to enjoy my watermelon tonight and I can't eat it during the day because I'll just be pee I'll like be wanting to pee all day I'll get to the school and I'll be desperate for a wee <sighs> crazy um, sorry, I'm looking at my list. I think that's all, about all, really. Um, I've got my 20 week scan tomorrow. I'm really like, I just can't wait, wait to see her and you know double check that she is a girl. If there's a winky on the screen, can you imagine like having to tell Harmony? Oh my goodness, she'll just go crazy. But I know we're, we're pretty sure it's a girl from the other scan. And also, to cut a long story short, I'll probably go more into it in my 20 week. Um, vlog when that comes up is um I don't know if you've seen my previous videos Grayson has got one hand bigger than the other and they thought it was like a fluid thing um now they think it's like a, maybe a bone thing so um he's actually been referred back to the bone specialist at the hospital but because they knew I was having my um scan on Wednesday they've actually sent a letter in to see if they can do some sort of um, extra measurements of the limbs and things just in case it's like a genetic disorder and just really to see if she if she may have it or to see if um, I don't know she got the extra extra limbs her, her limbs are a bit, little bit longer oh my god I can't get my words out today so um, yeah we'll have to see what the outcome of that is I don't I don't know I don't know if you would have picked up well they didn't pick up Grayson's bigger hand on the scan but then they weren't really looking for it I guess um, and it is quite noticeable and he has started to complain about it because he was under the paediatrician um, when he was younger um, but they sort of you know discharged him until it caused him pain so it is actually he has he sort of gets blisters on his um big finger we call him his big fingers he gets blisters on them and um, then he starts to say they're hurting so we're waiting to hear from that so that'll be another update as well so if I can try and get up I'm gonna probably look like an absolute idiot trying to get out of my chair I have to sort of wiggle do you know what's ridiculous isn't it to get up and then to try and get going okay so this is, oh god, there it is, my 19, um, yeah, 19 week belly. I don't think I've grown in the last week. I feel huge. Then I was huge with Grace and then he was um, 9.14. So I reckon she'll be quite big as well. There we go, little baby girl. Oh my goodness. It's just trying to manoeuvre, I just can't, it's like, oh, I don't know, I can't even spin around properly. Okay, well, thanks ever so much for watching, guys, and I will update you soon once I've had the scan and let you know what they found, if anything. So have a great day, and I will speak to you soon. Bye!